Hi, my name is Prana Narayanan and I'm going to make a short presentation about clean coal. Coal is really not a buzzword in the US energy market anymore. Just for fun, I just googled coal and Google Ngram and as you can see even authors have used the term coal less often these days. Now when you, when you think of coal, there is a huge negative image associated with it. The first commercial use of the term clean coal kicked off with the passing of the Clean Air Act of 1990. The most pressing issue of the previous decade had been acid rain, which is caused by the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. This was a decade-long program implemented in stages to reduce the SO2 and NOx emissions alone. The first stage would apply to the larger power plants, whose size would exceed 100 megawatts, and slowly to trickle down to the smaller ones as well. Now has this program been effective? Now there is almost a 30 to 40 percent decrease in SO2 and NOx emissions since 1990. A study has concluded that this is the largest quantified health benefit federal program in the last 10 years with benefits to cost in the ratio of 40 to 1. In the last decade or so, the focus has been more towards carbon dioxide emissions. I'll briefly describe some of the existing technologies of carbon capture and sequestration that is now the objective of the clean coal movement. The more traditional method is the post-combustion capture from the flue gas exhaust. It is mostly an adaptation from the sulfur dioxide and the NOx scrubbers that are already existing. Then there is the pre-combustion removal of carbon from the gasified coal that results in the formation of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Now the hydrogen can be used as a fuel and the carbon dioxide can be removed from the stream. There is also the oxy-fuel combustion method where we use pure oxygen instead of air in a controlled manner for combustion. This produces the stream of carbon dioxide that can be easily removed that is almost claimed to be zero emissions. Now the, the captured carbon dioxide is then transported mainly through pipelines and there are various forms of storage that have been proposed with different degrees of cost and energy associated with them. Carbon tax and cap and trade are thought of as two policy methods to handle carbon dioxide. The major problem with a problem like carbon dioxide is that it expands across international borders. It becomes a prisoner's dilemma problem. If there is one country that pollutes less, now it gives an incentive for the other countries to pollute more and so on. I just hope clean coal has a future and we somehow get there. Thank you.